At 11.30 on October 2nd, 2021, Rolls-Royce stunned the world when it officially launched the Rolls-Royce boat tail car globally at the Concorso de Eleganza Villa de Este exhibition. With a groundbreaking, sophisticated, and luxurious design, the car is known as a masterpiece of contemporary coach-building car Mr. Torsten Müller Altovas, chief executive officer of Rolls-Royce Motor Cars, shared, This is truly a moment of great significance in the brand's history. We're leading the trend of personalizing modern coach build and art of craftsmanship that will elevate the luxurious industry as a whole to a new level. Where hyper personalization and contemporary orders offers unlimited possibilities. It was known that only the three most special guests had the opportunity to own the Rolls Royce Boattail model, with the car's selling price up to 20 million pounds. Owning Rolls Royce Boattails, the most luxurious car line in the world, priced up to tens of millions of dollars, certainly means that their owners must be true millionaires and billionaires. So, are you curious to know who they are and how rich they are? In this video, Luxury Style will send you interesting revelations about the identity of owners of the most expensive supercars in the world. It was known that the owners included the couple Beyonce, Jay-Z, a pearl billionaire who did not want to reveal his identity, and the third person was Mauro Icardi, the soccer star of the Argentine team. Let's learn the secret about this talented midfielder and his luxurious supercar with Luxury Style. Possessing a huge fortune of nearly 100 million USD and a salary of 6.6 .6 million USD per year, it is not difficult for Mauro Icardi, a 30-year-old player, to be the first person to be able to buy the super product Rolls-Royce boat tail. Mauro Emmanuel Icardi Rivero, born 19 February 1993, is an Argentine professional football player who plays as a striker for the club of Super League Galatasaray. Icardi started his football career in the youth of Vecindario and moved through La Masia, the youth system of La Liga, Barcelona club, before moving to Serie A, Sampdoria club to begin his professional career in 2012. After an impressive season, he joined Inter Milan in July 2013, where he developed into one of the most prolific strikers in Europe. Icardi won the Capo Canonier in both the 2014-15 and 2017-18 seasons and was named as the captain of the Inter in 2015 at the age of 22. Icardi possesses an undeniable talent. Paolo Rossi compared Icardi to a killer striker. Luciano Spalletti called him a perfect center forward, while Stefano Pioli said Icardi was a beast in the box. Even his fellow Argentinian predecessor, famous player Hernan Crespo, also confirmed to Gazeta dello Sport in May that no striker can operate better in the penalty area than Icardi. Too many beautiful words for one of the best strikers in the world today, who has scored 106 goals in the penalty area out of a total of 110 goals in Serie A. The hat-trick against Atlanta in March 2017 is an example of Icardi's sharpness. The first goal was a quick whiff after the ball hit the wall from a free kick situation. The defenders just had time to see Icardi sneak behind before he swung the left foot shot to score. The second goal, Icardi created his own penalty and escorted himself with a Kampanenka with his right foot. The third goal was a header when he jumped higher than everyone. One left foot, one right foot, one header, eloquent proof that Icardi is a comprehensive striker. Inter needs Icardi more than vice versa because he takes a heavier responsibility for scoring goals than any of his teammates. At the end of Serie A's last season, Icardi scored 43% of Inter's goals. This parameter is only behind Niels Peterson in Freiburg and far surpasses Harry Kane, Mohamed Salah, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo for their club at that time. Analysis from Ultimo Uomo shows that Icardi is the attacking player with the least average number of passes per match, 13.5. In a football world where every player is increasingly becoming an inseparable link in the team, where strikers must also know how to defend and goalkeepers must also know how to pass the ball to attack, Icardi plays like a real boss. At the end of last season, Inter was the team that crossed the ball the most in Europe, only behind Real Madrid, the team that owns the BBC trio all playing very well. Those passes were, of course, directed towards Icardi's head. Inter built a playing style to promote Icardi's goal-scoring ability. He didn't need to run much, he didn't need to defend, his main task was to sniff out the goal like Pipo and Zaghi in the past. Icardi and Inter also have some strange connection. Perhaps because Inter has always been the home of Argentine players such as Javier Zanetti, Esteban Cambiaso, Crespo, Juan Verón, Diego Milito, and so on. 
Thanks to Icardi's goals, Inter has returned to the Champions League for the first time in six years. New coach Lionel Scaloni's recent Argentina team call-up list includes Icardi's name. Maybe you just want to check on young players and players who rarely have the opportunity to play for the team under Jorge Sampaoli. But that's enough of a positive sign, because if Icardi continues to maintain his form like last season, how can Lionel Scaloni refuse him? Icardi was integral in helping Inter secure a place in the UEFA Champions League for the first time in six years, as he became the club's eighth highest goalscorer of all time. In 2019, Icardi signed for Paris Saint-Germain on an initial one-year loan deal where he won the domestic treble. He then joined the club permanently in a deal worth 50 million euros. However, people often say that many talents have many disabilities. Mauro Icardi once made a noise when he stole his wife, Wanda Nara, from his close friend, and it is this relationship that is ruining his career. In 2013, the world of football was noisy with the story of the broken marriage between Maxi Lopez and Wanda Nara, with the third person being Mauro Icardi. At that time, Icardi was a young star of Sampdoria, a team that had just moved from Serie B to Serie A with a promising future. Icardi is not simply a teammate of Maxi Lopez in the Sampdoria shirt. They're comrades with a relationship like brothers. When Icardi started playing football professionally, it was Maxi Lopez with the experience of his predecessor who guided him to success. Maxi Lopez often brought Icardi home as well as taking trips with his family. As a young player, Icardi couldn't resist Wanda Nara's hot looks. Behind Maxi Lopez's back, the two often cheated until they were exposed. Wanda Nara married Maxi Lopez in 2008 when her career as a model and TV host was not really successful. After getting married, Wanda followed her husband to Europe, Valentino Gaston, Constantino, and Benedicto. Their three children were born one by one. Many people considered it an ideal family. However, it all collapsed when Wanda and Icardi cuckled at Maxi Lopez. When the incident broke out, each person accused the other of treason, and the story ended in court in December 2013. Just half a year after divorcing Maxi, Wanda married Icardi in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Mauro himself also transferred to Inter Milan, and at that time, Icardi's career was struggling at a time when he seemed to be stepping into the ranks of the best strikers. He had no official place in the PSG squad. The Argentine team turned away. At the age of 28, which is a very beautiful life for a player, Icardi had to pay the price for his past choices. Wanda Nara turned Icardi into a money-making machine. Icardi's lifestyle and bad habits related to Wanda caused him to be opposed when he played for Argentina. Legend Diego Maradona was very interested in this issue when he was alive. Icardi made a fool of himself with Inter shouting high salaries and being unprofessional. The striker from the same hometown of Rosario as Lionel Messi was boycotted by Tifosi, and the Milan team also pushed him to PSG in 2019. The adventure at PSG was different from what Icardi expected. He did not win a starting position and has only been on the field for 1,069 minutes this season, of which there were only 90 minutes in the Champions League. PSG takes on Barcelona with the goal of winning tickets to the quarterfinals of the Champions League without Neymar due to injury. This is a rare opportunity for Icardi to make his mark, instead of just entering the field for fun. Mauro Icardi currently plays for Turkey's Galatasaray. He signed with Galatasaray on July 24, 2023 with a four-year contract. Although his personal life is quite noisy and has a significant impact on his career, this striker has still accumulated assets worth 95 million USD and a salary of 6.6 .6 million USD per year while playing for Galatasaray. That's why this 30-year-old player could spend 28 million USD buying a Rolls-Royce boat tail in the top 5 most expensive supercars in the world. The Galatasaray striker showed off on social networks that he recently bought a Rolls-Royce boat tail that is completely handmade and has many details completely customized to the owner's preferences. This is the most expensive super luxurious car model in the world and is only produced in a limited quantity of exactly three cars globally. The first was purchased by the famous couple Jay-Z and Beyonce as soon as the car was introduced in May 2021. One was sold to a pearl tycoon, but this person's identity was kept confidential as requested, and recently it was revealed that Ma Roy Cardi owns Rolls-Royce Boat Tail. Rolls-Royce Boat Tail has a length of nearly 5.8 meters, creating a majestic appearance. The lines on the car body create a luxurious, classy, and elegant look. Rolls-Royce Boat Tail is inspired by J-Class Yachts. In appearance, this model has a front-end design with typical details such as the Pantheon grille and echoes from the Phantom drophead prototype. The highlight of Rolls-Royce Boat Tail comes from the body and rear areas. 
In particular, the rear area of the car makes users more or less think of classic car models of the 20th century. The rear of the car is impressive with a distinct horizontal highlight detail along with LED tail lights, a slender U-shaped design sunk deep inside, creating the attraction and strong feeling of a super luxurious car. The rear of the car has a wooden rear compartment covered with high-quality Calais de Legno veneer designed with a very special and impressive vertical lines. The Rolls-Royce bow tail cabin has an interior leather design with color tone transitions between details. The front seats are covered with leather in a darker blue tone, while the rear seats are finished in a brighter tone. Rolls-Royce bow tail has a hood structure that is designed with depth and has never appeared on any Rolls-Royces before. This roof is made of fabric and is removed manually that this super luxurious car has 1,813 completely new details, means Rolls-Royce engineers had to design and test them from scratch. This testing process started in 2017, after Sweptail was launched. Boatail was tested at temperatures from negative 20 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius with no deformation or leakage. The test driver must go at maximum speed to check the vehicle's noise level. It took four years to assemble all 1,813 parts of the four-seat convertible by hand. This model equipped with special features, sun umbrella, automatic retractable opening table, silver cutlery set and luxurious ceramic plates, bottles of champagne can be kept cold in two onboard refrigerators. In addition, Boattail also owns a series of high-end equipment such as a 15-speaker bespoke sound system that uses the entire vehicle floor as a resonance chamber for the subwoofer part of the sound system, a set of carbon fiber cocktail seats and a large size canopy. Moreover, there is a collection of luxurious accessories such as a pair of watches from the Swiss brand Beauvais Florier, handcrafted Mont Blanc pens, and so on. Rolls-Royce Boatail is equipped with a 6.75-liter V12 engine producing a maximum capacity of 571 horsepower. Its 8-speed ZF automatic transmission provides a fast and smooth gearshifting experience. Rolls-Royce Boatail is a unique combination of the design of 1932 Rolls-Royce Boatail and the J-Class yacht line. It includes 1,813 exclusive parts made specifically for this car. Inside the car, there are a number of wooden details with stainless steel inlays that are very similar to those seen on yachts. All three cars use Rolls-Royce's architecture of luxury architecture. The radiator grille is made from solid aluminum. The rear trunk lid is a two-piece hinged type that creates a butterfly shape when opened. Underneath is a super expensive picnic set. But each car model will also have unique features and decorations at the request of the buyer. Accordingly, the interiors of the three cars will be different, but all will use the best leather and the most advanced features of Rolls-Royce. With personalization pushed to the highest level, the interior and equipment in the rear compartment will be crafted according to the customer's requests. This means that materials and patterns will be personalized according to the owner's wishes. The car only has the body and engine that are similar to other cars. Rolls-Royce Boatail is a luxurious car model exclusively for high-class customers around the world. Each car is worth up to 28 million USD and certainly takes the title of the most expensive car ever, overtaking the Bugatti Le Noir and Rolls-Royce Sweptail that held the previous record. Talking about the design of this luxurious car, the head of Rolls-Royce design, Alex In, said, This is about changing the concept of the function of a car, and this is one of the most profound elements when Boatail was born. Do what the brand wants to convey. In our opinion, a car is no longer just a car. It's no longer about lap times, it's not about how much you can accelerate in 60 seconds, it's not about how fast you can run around the Nürburgring, but it belongs to the romantic concept of the 20s to 30s, the golden era of car manufacturing. That's what the car Rolls-Royce Boatel wants to express. It challenges the definition of a car. Spending $28 million on the Rolls-Royce Boatel supercar, player Icardi has truly risen to the level of car tycoon among football players. Messi, Ronaldo, Benzema, and many of the world's top players all own million-dollar supercars, but none of them have reached the $28 million like Icardi. And you? What do you think about this talented player and this million-dollar car? Please leave your comment right below the video. See you again in Luxury Styles' latest video.